please welcome the brilliant Keenan Thompson is on the show. Can you believe it? There he is. How you doing, Keenan? Hello. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? How we, are you? Well, shout we're out all to the Tom. better. Shout out to, shout out to the band, shout out to the audience, shout out to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're all the better for seeing you. We really are. Now, where are you in the world right now? Where are you, where are you joining us from? I'm in the great city of New York. So. I mean, you, I don't know that people know, and I'd like to talk about this. You have had the most insane filming schedule over these past few months. You've been filming your sitcom here in Los Angeles and flying yes. back every weekend to do Saturday Night Live at the same time, which I don't even know how that's even physically possible. How have you been doing this? Well, my schedule, I like that word, schedule. My schedule was actually quite crazy. Um, it was only overlapping for five weeks, but basically we would work Monday through Friday in LA and then catch that red eye and show up on Saturday, start rehearsing and getting ready for the dress rehearsal and the live show, basically, like squeezing it all in just on Saturday. So it was kind of crazy. Has any bit of you thought about saying to Lorne Michaels, I really only need to come in on Saturdays from now on? <laughs> yeah, now that I've done it, I'm like, do you really need me Monday through Friday? I don't know if you do. <laughs> I feel like I can just come in on Saturday and knock it out like I just showed you how five times <laughs> yeah. in a row. <laughs> Uh, this past weekend, Daniel Kalia uh, hosted SNL, and I thought it was so touching. I thought yeah. he did a brilliant job, by the way. And he mentioned in his mono, he said that you inspired him to become yeah. an actor. Did you know about I this? Did you know he was going to say this? Explain the story behind this. Apparently, Daniel Kaluuya is my son. I didn't know <laughs> that he was, uh, he was my offspring like that. Uh, <laughs> He, uh, yeah, I had no idea. I, I, uh, there was a different monologue on Wednesday, and uh, it changed, and I didn't hear it until dress rehearsal. And I was like, um, one of his, the, the lady that changes the host, that does the wardrobe for the host, um, and runs them around all crazy and gets them ready for each sketch and never misses a beat. Her name is Donna, and she came up to me right before the dress rehearsal, and she was like, have you talked to Daniel? Like, did you hear his monologue? And I was like, no, what, what was it about? She was like, just watch. And then I watched. I couldn't believe that he was a big Keenan and Kale fan. Like, that's incredible. Nine years old, British, British Daniel Kaluuya. Dreams do come Uganda true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you started acting professionally when you were so young. And, like, I've been lucky enough to hang out with you a couple of times. And I, sometimes when I think about you, I think you started your career in a really big and sort of quite stratospheric way when you were so young. And it begs the question, how have you turned out so normal? Uh, my mama don't play that. <laughs> that's uh, that's the, the easiest way I could sum that up. Um, I'm, I'm very close to my family, you know, and yeah, my mother was uh, very strict on, you know, education and manners and things like that. And, uh, you know, she kept a sharp eye on the old boy, so. Even when I was living in Los Angeles and she was living in Atlanta, she would get in the car and drive cross country by herself just to come check on me, you know? So, yeah, she's a dedicated parent. I love her dearly. Oh, God bless her for that. That's beautiful. Now, you're the longest running cast member in Saturday Night Live history. Take, take me back. Yeah. Take me back to when you, when you first joined the show, because I can only imagine it must be an incredibly intimidating environment when you go in on your first day. What was that like? Was there anybody there who took you under their wing? Yeah, I mean, I was pretty lost, you know. Um, I didn't really understand the concept of having to write for myself necessarily yet. So I was kind of just wandering around. And uh, Maya Rudolph actually took me under her wing and, and, and wrote my first sketch with her. But before that, my first day I walked in, Tracy Morgan was just sitting in there holding court. And he had, you know, he was out of the cast at that point. That was like the whole reason why they even auditioned a bunch of new black guys in the first place. Um, but he was just there and hanging out, you know, like telling stories, acting like he was writing for the show that week. And I was like really intrigued by him. And he was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's go hang out. So we went to TGI Fridays. <laughs> um, apparently it was only a block away, but, you know, he wanted to, 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 you know, kind of flex, I guess. So we went to get his garage, his car 
out of the garage that was like three blocks away <laughs> just to you know, drive around the corner once to get to the Fridays. But you know, he, he had an Escalade pickup truck and it, it was cream colored with rims. So I, I needed to do that as well. <laughs> Now, we have to congratulate you on Keenan. Uh, this is such a great show and such a brilliant cast. You, you Chris Red, who I, who I just adore. I, he, he gets funnier and funnier every week. He's so, such Absolutely. a brilliant performer. Don so Johnson's great. in the Brother. show. Um, yes. For anyone who hasn't seen it, tell us what it's about and who you play. Uh, yeah, I'm playing a, a widowed father of two little girls who are beautiful young actors from Atlanta, Danny and Dana. Um, and they are really, really sweet. And I'm trying to, you know, just balance that home work life, basically. So Chris is playing my brother, and Don Johnson is playing my father-in-law. So they've all come down to kind of surround me and help me raise the girls, basically. And then on my work side, uh, I have the great Kimry Lewis from Single Parents, and now she's on our show. She's incredible. And uh, Taylor Louderman, who was on Broadway, and Fortune Feimster, the legendary, so we have a well-rounded cast, very well-rounded cast, in my opinion. And we just have fun going back and forth, using the whole village to raise two sweet little girls, kind of a, a motto, basically. Well, the show is so great, and you are absolutely Thank brilliant you. in it. You, Chris, on the whole cast is, is, is real Thank magic. You, we're, we're having an incredible time, you know? And it's a definitely, you know, a dream come true for a, a comedian. Like, this is like one of the pinnacles, basically, to have an eponymous sitcom. Ooh, big words. <laughs>